Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, today's topic is high value men want high value women. Okay, high value men want high value women. All right, before we dive into this message, I want to say welcome. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new viewers, all of the new subscribers, and welcome to you who have been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate you. Now, those of you who are new to the channel, I will answer your relationship questions. So at the end of the video, I'll show you a link where you can send in your questions and I will either answer them privately through the email or I will share them online with the collective. And it can be your decision. Now those of you who are interested in these caps, they are available in my online store and you'll find a link in the description. Now it's time for our daily affirmation. And we do these affirmations to help with your spiritual growth. And here's today's. I am enough. I have everything I need within me. I am enough. I have everything I need within me. People, you have power. You have untapped power within you. And it's everything you need to manifest the life that you desire. And this affirmation today, I am enough. I have everything I need within me. Let this affirmation be a blessing to you today. All right, now it's time for movement. And we do these movements as another part of our daily exercise to get our blood circulating. Okay, all right. Today we're going to do two simple neck exercises okay all right so you can sit in your chair sit up tall and straight and we're just gonna do this <laughs> when I did that I thought I heard it crack <laughs> all right we're gonna do five we're gonna do five of them five this way and five this way all right all right take your time all right here we go one Two, three, how does that feel? Four, all right, we're going to do one more. Five, all right, shake it out. Now let's do the other side. All right, here we go. One, two, take your time. Three, four, and one more. Five. All right, shake that out. <laughs> I know if you're anything like me, I, I do a lot of sitting during the day. We're stooping. And right in here, it really gets me. So that just kind of loosens up those muscles. All right, let's dive into the message today. High quality men want high quality women. All right, I did pull a video. Let's watch the video, and then we're going to talk more about it. Here we go. Ladies, I want you to listen up. There are things a high-quality man will notice and value. He simply won't tell you. So you know what? Let's get it. Number one, how you respect yourself. One of the most attractive things is when a girl has the goods, but she doesn't need to show them off. It shows self-respect. It shows discipline. It shows that you are content with yourself, and you don't need that external validation. And I'm telling you, that shit's hot. Number two, and probably my favorite, initiative. I can't tell you how many times men have told me, guys, I've coached my friends, Josh, I didn't even need to ask her. She did that on her own. So if you think your efforts at building security and trust in your relationship is going unnoticed, let me be the first to tell you it's not. Number three, the way your tonality changes. 
The number one thing a man craves from a woman is respect. Have you ever noticed during an argument or maybe a conversation doesn't always have to be negative and your voice changes, it gets softer periodically. By nature, a man picks up on this and a lot of times he doesn't even realize it, but it gives off submissive vibes, which makes a man feel respected. And a bonus, if you want a high quality man, be a high quality woman. Now get out there. I hate to tell you, but you're not going to meet a high quality man by just throwing up a Tinder profile or heading to your local dive bar. So where do high value guys hang out? For starters, sports club, whether it's golf, polo, tennis. If you want to be with a high value guy who's actually doing something in his life, check out sports clubs. Two, the gym or even an exclusive gym is even better. High caliber men definitely take care of themselves and tend to work out. And the nicer the gym, you can actually make some assumptions about what stage this guy's in in his life. Three, high-end grocery stores like a Whole Foods or like a local farmer's market. Just walking around, smiling, connecting with people, chatting about can be a great way to meet guys who are into health and you know are kind of on the same page with you. Social events, dinner parties, barbecues, weddings. Be a yes woman. If you get invited to anything, go because you know what? The highest caliber men that you're going to meet are going to be through friends of friends. Make sure you say yes, go to those events, even if your couch feels really comfortable. Volunteering events, a charity event or a gala, alumni gatherings, church or temple, any religious event if that's your whole thing. Another one is when you take your dog for a walk, when you're in the park or maybe a boardwalk, the pier, whatever, if your dog sniffs another dog's butt, I don't know, maybe it's a sign that you guys are meant to be together. And finally, traveling. Don't forget to be that curious person everywhere that you go. High value men go to high value places to meet high value women. Go out with that abundance mindset, bring that best energy, go to these high value places. Girls, I need your take on this one. I got in a conversation, debate, whatever you may say, with this guy I've been seeing, and he was saying how a lot of girls expect a lot, and that I was one of them, financially, for example. And it's funny because I've never said anything point blank to him for him to think that, but in hindsight, I've definitely said things that would assume that. I don't know, like, I never reach for my card, I don't think you should either. Point is, and not a lot of people talk about this, when you're a high-value woman, not everyone can handle it. People will think it comes across like you're looking for a free dinner or a free drink, but a real high-value woman can do all of that herself that's not what she's looking for she's looking for you to earn her time deserve her time push her so she can be the best version of herself back to you i believe a high value woman should be chased and you always should be like making the moves to try to impress with action in my next relationship i want someone doing that our entire relationship always keeping me on my toes but when there's someone that talks to you that thinks you're asking too much a lot of times then we go internally and we're like is it me am i too much for me it's not even about the money it's how you treat me how you earn my time i honestly expect that treatment because i know i deserve it and i know i can attract that and get it but also you're always going to be too much for the wrong person so when someone doesn't see it that way i don't know if he ever will you guys know what i mean i did pull some traits of a uh, high quality people all right so let's look at this honesty integrity confidence intelligence supports others loyalty physical health and eats well okay these are the traits of high quality people all right here's the thing did you notice in the line of um, these traits I didn't see wealth I didn't see wealthy. I didn't see well off. I didn't see has a lot of money. I didn't see drives a big car or has a big house. I, I, I didn't see that. Alright? And in today's society, these are the people that have some sort of wealth that you can see. You want to put that label on them as being high quality when they may not have any of these other traits. They may not be intelligent. They might not support others. They may not even be honest. Then they're not high quality people. See, this is the thing. And this list goes for the women and for the men. If you want to be a high quality individual, then you must have these traits. You must be honest. You must be confident. You must have integrity. 
which means that um, you have morals and you stand up for those morals. You support others, which means you, you know, you have some humility. You are loyal and you care about your physical health and you eat right. These are high quality traits, people. So, um, many of us, we have distorted the traits of high quality with how much a person makes. What a person has. What a person can show. How much influence a person has. That's not the trait of a high quality person. Just because uh, they have some influence. They have an audience. Or they drive big cars. They have big homes. No. That's not high quality. And a lot of us get duped that way. Especially women. Because we're looking for someone, a man, who is a good provider. But just because he has, doesn't mean that he's going to provide for you. Alright? A high quality man would. Now, here's the thing. You want a high quality man, but he has to have more than you. Financially, he has to have more than you because we date up. But we're looking for quality dating up. Not, not just because he has something or that he is in charge of something. If he is not honest or has any integrity or has no loyalty, it's no good. Which is a big one for me, loyalty. If he's none of those things, then he's not high quality. I don't care what he has. And this is what I want to make clear to you ladies. Don't waste your time desiring the wrong thing. All right? And as uh, women, you know, we want security and support and, you know, and all those things. We want our men to provide for us because that's a man's job to provide. All right? On the flip side of that, I was reading about the high quality woman. And uh, I did read a statement that I'm sure a man wrote. <laughs> I'm sure a man wrote. And the man says, a high value woman is a woman who is self-sufficient. Period. All right. So now the man... That high-value man, he has in his mind that a high-value woman is a woman who's self-sufficient. All right? And on the flip side, the women, the high-value women, thinking a high-value man is a man who can provide the most. You see, that's a high-value man. But what I'm telling you, that has nothing to do with the value of a person. Because if that man is not, or that woman, is not honest, does not have integrity, morals, is not loyal. These are not high value people. That's not where the value is. The value is from, from within a person, not without. It's what's coming from within the person that is reflected without. So it's the value of a person is how much they love themselves. When a person truly loves themselves, then they will be all these things. They will be honest. They will have morals. They will be loyal. They will take care of themselves physically. These are the things that a true high value person will do. These are the traits that they will have. So, don't be confused about high value because the high value has been promoted as what a person has, what a person can show, you see, how flashy a person can be 
or how well known a person is. No, that has nothing to do with a person's value at all. At all. Ladies, you should be self-sufficient. You know, whether a man is going to say that that's value or what, but he's still the provider. You're self-sufficient. But he's still the provider if you're with him. So whatever you have, you can do with what you wish. But he's the provider if he wants you. Okay? Now, let's don't get that mixed up. You see, to, in today's society, the man says that the woman uh, is high value if she's self-sufficient because he's looking for you to help the half the bills. He's looking for you so he doesn't have that full responsibility of taking care of you and the family. He wants you to go in half C with him. Okay. Half C with him. That's right. That's right. He doesn't want the full investment. That's not a high value man. It's a man that makes a, maybe he makes good salary, but it's not a high value man. Uh-uh. A high-value man is a provider. He knows that his job is to provide for his family. And no matter what the wife does, whether she has, she can be self-sufficient or whatever the situation is, if he is high-value, he is able to provide for you. And if he has any children with you, provide for everybody. No matter what you do, women. Okay? The high value woman is the same as the man. It has nothing to do with you being self-sufficient. You want to be self-sufficient because that's for your better good. Because no matter what happens with him, you can always fall back on what you have. Okay? That's why you want to be self-sufficient. Not to measure up to this high value business. High value has nothing to do with the money. Okay? Let me tell you again. It has to do with honesty. It has to do with integrity. It has to do with confidence. Intelligence. Supporting others. Loyalty. Physical health. And eating well. That's high value. That's value because that comes from within. The way that you feel about yourself. The way that you love yourself. Then you will have these traits. I just wanted you to know the difference because I see in the world that people are confused about what the, what the value is. Where is the value? The value. And there are some high value men out here. But you would overlook them because maybe they're not living in the big house and driving the big fancy car. But these men totally support their families. They love their families. They care for their families. And they're honest. They have integrity. They're loyal. And they're confident in what they're doing. These are the high value men. So ladies, I hope that you understand the message today. I really didn't have a letter on this, but when we don't have letters, then I'll have a message for you anyway. And I hope that this message opens your eyes and your understanding and helps you to choose wisely, ladies. As you're working on yourself and you're on your spiritual journey and being more confident in your own self and building your own foundation, know what high value really means and choose wisely. All right? I hope that the message today helps someone and I really hope that you understand it. Now, those of you who have questions that you would like for me to answer, here is the link. Send your questions to Miss Faye's World, yt at hotmail.com. 
That's Miss Faysboro, yt at hotmail.com. And try to keep your letters to one page. Just summarize your situation and ask the question. And if you prefer that I answer your question privately through the email, just put it at the very top of your letter and I will comply. I want to thank you so much for supporting this channel. And to show my appreciation, I will be giving away a deck just like this one, the I Am Affirmations, from which I have been choosing for our daily affirmations to one of you lucky subscribers once this channel hits 100,000. This is a 53 Oracle Card deck, and I will be announcing the lucky winner's name right here on the channel. So keep watching, and good luck to all of you. I want to thank you so much for your comments and your letters, and a special thank you for those that leave a donation. I really appreciate all of you. And I really hope that these messages can help you in some way. I wish you all the very best and happiness. And I really hope to see you next time.